Okay, so the Ukraine uh, sent a message to the Queen saying, thanks for the missiles, Madge. So I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It's very helpful if you would. And thank you very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. So amazing. I mean, Ukrainian soldiers directly to the queen. Thank you for the missiles. It's amazing. So that's what we'll read about today. So this all started with the Ukrainian soldier sending a thanks to the queen. And I've got a little bit here that I'll tell you about that. So um, it started, he's saying, we hit a tank thanks to the gifts from the queen. The Ukrainian soldier hailed Her Majesty after destroying a Russian armored vehicle with a British supplied missile. The UK has sent 3,615 NLAWS, N-L-A-W-S, to the Ukraine, and LAW is of course the name of the missile, uh, to the Ukraine in recent uh, months to help uh, their war effort. And what are in-laws specifically? Well, they are the next generation of light uh, anti-tank weapons, lightweight missiles specifically designed to take out armored vehicles with a firing range of more than half a mile. And uh, in the clip that was posted by U.S. broadcaster CBS News, the soldier says that civilians also want to use the missiles, but we cannot give in law to every Ukrainian, though we would like to, he says. And uh, while details of the use of uh, Western equipment in action are unreliable, uh, reports suggest that in laws help stop Russian advances in some uh, areas. The soldier from the Sumi region thanked the United Kingdom for sending the weapons. Breaks my heart. Uh, including the in-law missile system and he said give us more toys like these and there will be no more destroyed tanks so this comes after the uk defense secretary uh, ben wallace announced plans for the uk to send star streak anti-aircraft weapons and a small consignment of javelin anti-tank missiles to ukraine uh, as forces they're prepared to defend or actually are defending the capital of kiev let's see what the cards say Okay, so we're going to see, um, let's see, the Queen's Missile Gift to the Ukraine. And this is an unusually sweet uh, deck to use for that, but uh, that's what I was drawn to. So, we'll just get right uh, to it. Again, I guess we'll leave this here. Well, let's put it up here to start with. Give me a little room to do this uh, spread in a minute. So, the Queen's gift of missiles to the Ukraine. It's actually the government, but of course the Queen uh, does represent uh, everyone, and uh, it's her government. So the Queen's missile gift to the Ukraine, what can the cards, these incredibly sweet cards, as a matter of fact, Line Strider Tarot, uh, what can they tell us about this? I've got an interesting system for choosing the cards that I use. Uh, what I do usually, what I, well, what I used to do is I'd look at the subject and I'd peruse my cards. I've got more than 50 packs of cards, maybe 60. And, and see what seems to be in line with that. Now recently, what I've been doing is just uh, choosing the cards, uh, all cards that I'm gonna use for uh, a seven day period, um, almost randomly, and, um, and not uh, being very conscious about what subject those cards might pair to. So I leave it a little bit up to the universe to choose those cards, and it's been working out really well. And I'm surprised that for this subject, I was drawn to this Life Strider Tarot, but let's do, just a moment of meditation first. Okay. You know, I do a long uh, meditation typically before I uh, make uh, any uh, read. And um, so it's more than just that. A prayer, I invoke uh, Archangel Mike, Michael. I invoke uh, my personal uh, choice of a saint. Uh, for guidance, and I invoke um, dear uh, loved ones who passed to maybe lend me a hand if they can. So uh, this case, we're going to see uh, probably a full Celtic cross, but we'll start with the Diana cross, six cards. And we might go the extra four cards to make a full Celtic cross. We'll see uh, how that pans out. But the Queen's missile gift to the Ukraine. Um, 
six cards to begin with. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Queen's Gift of Missiles to the Ukraine. Okay, what is the signifier card for this? The Queen's Gift of sig uh, Missiles to the Ukraine signifier card. Okay, this is the uh, Nine of Pentacles. Uh, Nine of Pentacles is um, having uh, everything that you'd want. It's typically um, uh, depicted in a typical Rider Waite deck as a woman beautifully dressed with pinnacles plastered all over a fence or around her showing her great wealth and usually with uh, an, an object in the, in the scene, uh, usually a uh, stalking bird that would uh, show that she's so rich that she could have the very uh, expensive and uh, not a necessary diversion of the day to uh, at her disposal. So this Nine of Pentacles is uh, showing us the Sinfire card. We're asking about the Queen's missile gift to the Ukraine. And this is showing us the Queen's immense wealth, England's immense wealth, and um, and uh, and being able to share that, I suppose. Sinfire card. The challenge to that is the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is having to turn away from something uh, that you uh, that's emotionally important to you. Uh, Pentacles, you know, are value, and Cups, of course, are emotional. So, yeah, so the Eight of Cups is, and you can see in this in this uh, scenario here, uh, this person is uh, walking off, looking dejected, um, with their possessions on their back, and uh, leaving a little something behind. So, yeah, typically um, the uh, Eight of Cups is having to turn away from something of emotional value. Um, it could be peace. Uh, the base of this reading then with the magician. Very g great uh, card for this reading because it's almost like magic for the Ukraine to have uh, these uh, very sophisticated uh, um, defenses appear for their uh, disposal. And it's almost like magic for these governments to be willing to send them to them. Uh, so I love that. Magician is at the base of this whole reading. The past of this reading for the Queen's gift of missiles to the Ukraine is this Three of Wands, long-term plans. Couldn't be more appropriate. Yeah, uh, uh, long-term plans for the survival of a country. Pl uh, uh, wands are actions, uh, plans, moving forward. Couldn't be more appropriate. In the sky of this reading for the Queen's missile gifts to the Ukraine, we've got the Lovers. This is the Major Arcana. And uh, so this card is uh, talking about perfect pairings, perfect partnerships. And so England and Ukraine. The likely outcome of this for the Queen's Gift of Missiles to the Ukraine, Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is just um, happy family. Cups are emotional. It's a very emotionally uh, charged uh, card probably one of the most emotionally charged cards that is not a major arcana card. So Ten of Cups is just showing us, um, you know, the importance of family, uh, union, um, being together. I think we have to do another four cards. Move this down here. Okay, the Queen's Gift of Missiles to the Ukraine. The Queen's Gift of Missiles to the Ukraine. Very interesting so far. Okay, so the signifier card for that question, the Queen's Gift of Missiles to the Ukraine. First card for that is the Ace of Pentacles. Pentacles are value. The Ace is the top. Okay, just the very uh, 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 most valuable uh, gift of uh, that one could give. Uh, you know, is the, this indicates that Ace of Pentacles. Uh, the environment that that's in is the Hanged Man. Yeah. Unfortunately, the the hanged man, major arcana, and it's talking about you know being suspended, not uh, having to look at something from another uh, view, uh, not being able to move uh, forward as you would want to. You really considered a thing. So the hanged man uh, represents so many things uh, in this uh, question. Uh, it can be the Ukraine's position of trying to hang on. It can be um, England's uh, uh, having to look at this thing in a, a, a slightly different way. Um, we need to provide these uh, weapons uh, as a humanitarian aid almost. The uh, hopes and the fears for that, temperance, of course it is. Man, these cards are perfect. So yeah, temperance is finding a balance. And look at this, so this angelic representation of temperance. It's just amazing. So it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful card to get in the hopes and the fears, finding that temperance. And then the likely outcome for the whole thing, Queen's Gift of Missiles to the Ukraine, is right here, the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so this is just, uh, a page is just the least uh, uh, important 
of the royal court cards. But I would remind you that uh, in normal citizenry, you know, if you had risen to the point that you're of service to the royal court, I would think that makes you, you know, at this point as a page, the very least effective member of the royal court. But to the rest of society, you're pretty important is that you've gotten up to that 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 place of being in, in the royal court. So the page of pentacles and then pentacles, of course, being value, worth, sometimes even money. So this page of pentacles, this is a message that's come to the court and said, well, here's this message of value. What do you think we can do? And what they could do was to send the missiles. So I think it's beautiful. And just to talk about it one more time uh, quickly. So um, the queen's gift of missiles to the Ukraine. We start out with the nine of pentacles, you know, really having everything that you need, having all the value that you um, want, and you're able to spare a little bit uh, if necessary. And it's challenged by what? It's challenged by the Eight of Cups, having to walk away from something of uh, emotional importance, you know, having to kind of put peace aside for a moment and recognize that war, is, unfortunately, is uh, what you're going to support in this uh, instance. The base of this reading is a magician, of course, having um, uh, this uh, anything at your disposal to get a thing done. And, of course, what the Ukraine is looking for is whatever they need uh, to get this thing done. Uh, the past of this reading, three of wands, long-term plans. And, of course, this is for the long-term plans, for the long-term survival of that country. And then the sky of this reading is the lovers, finding that perfect pairing. And this is the major arcana. So this is a, a major perfect pairing um, of the Ukraine and England, in this case, for the uh, for the missiles. And then the likely arc of the whole thing is this ten of cups. It's finding that uh, value in family, that emotional value in uh, supporting uh, a, a brother country, if you would, a sister country, if you would, a family coming together to take care of each other. Just to dig a little deeper, the whole the signifier card for that question, the self of that question, Ace of Pentacles, a great big offer of value, a huge offer of value, and I can do it, so let me give that to you. The uh, environment that it's in with this hangman is that things are in a, a point of suspension. So Ukraine is hanging on, trying to hold on to that point of suspension. And uh, uh, most people are having to look at this in another way. We don't like war, but in this case, it's something that uh, we have to look at a little bit differently and maybe uh, participate in. The hopes and the fears, of course, for temperance is exactly what the whole world is trying to um, uh, uh conjure up uh, in this in this uh, tragic situation temperance a balance you know let's find some a negotiating uh, place in this and then the likely outcome of the whole thing with this page of pentacles is that um yeah it, it took a message to the royal court regarding this value to get it off and then and and that's what happened exactly love 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 this reading Interesting set of cards. Um, I just love uh, doing these questions that you send me. And so send me more, and I'll do more of them. <laughs> hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Okay, so these cards are, are th just the latest thing, I believe. So this is by the artist uh, is Ciolo, Ciolo Thompson. Ciolo Thompson. And it's, this is called the Line Strider Tarot, the Line Strider Tarot. It comes in a great box, and it's, it's got some beautiful imagery on the outside of the box, and a nice little introduction back here. Uh, I like this. is Body, Mind, and Spirit Tarot. So very interesting. But uh, the box itself is one of the cool uh, magnetic snaps. It's beautiful. It's got a nice glossy finish. It really feels uh, like a, a precious uh, stationery would come in here. The book is amazing quality. I mean, I don't I don't know if you can see it, but like each one of these pages is just, there's really good quality. And the book is full color. And it's interesting here because it talks just a little bit about Solio Thompson. And I'll just tell you very quickly that she's a self-taught visual artist and she lives in the Seattle, Washington area. And um, so this is her first uh, deck. So the first published deck anyway. And then in, over here she's talking about... This was a journey for her, and uh, the line started deck uh, has got a lot of animal uh, imagery, and that it brings in some uh, tarot images from her childhood. Now she grew up uh, where she grew up in. She was born in uh, Western Samoa, and then uh, she also uh, lived in Bolivia, and so uh, she has an amazing uh, childhood, and um, and brought a lot of attention to the cards. So there we go. The book is fantastic. The cards themselves are also pretty amazing but i mean they're a gentle spirit they're a good quality of card you know they're stiff they're uh, slicky but they don't cause a problem they shuffle uh, really well and um, so you know they're just great and then they're very easy to interpret and the reason is that uh, each card really tells you right there what's on the card okay so you don't have to just rely on the imagery but if you really look at what's drawn on there it's pretty amazing i mean and then you start to wonder why did she uh allow, uh, allow this animal for this particular uh, divination 
So the beautiful cards, good suggestions in the book, how to um, you know use them. And I just lay them out like this so you have a chance to look at uh, more than just the few cards that uh, you know reader pulls out when they're we're doing our shtick. And then um, you know maybe um, you might decide uh, you like the cards or if you don't get to see a lot of cards. I know when I was just watching um, the stuff on uh, YouTube, I wanted to see more cards than I was seeing. So there we go. Well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.